Hey, we've got a freeze warning that just was issued for Eastern Washington. I know this doesn't affect a lot of our viewers, but it gives you an idea that, okay, we're getting closer to that season. We're going to see more of these sprinkle in uh, 20s and 30s tomorrow for the Yakima Valley, Columbia Basin. Yes, we have some viewers out in the Wenatchee out, uh, area, so shout out to you. So you're close. Just know that tomorrow morning it will be chilly, while uh, western Washington will likely be in the 30s and 40s. Now, you look at this pattern, and if you didn't know it was October, you'd think that this was a summer-like ridge, right? I mean, that storm is well off, hundreds of miles off the coast of Washington, Oregon, and California, shooting all the way up into Ketchikan and Juneau, Alaska. Meanwhile, the entire west coast is quiet. We will stay quiet, we're thinking, for the next two weeks. Can you believe that? We go into October where we started off somewhat damp and a complete flip-flop in the weather pattern. So temperatures, they will climb. Today we technically hit, I believe it was 63. Uh, we were very close to that 62 and we'll be up into the mid to upper 60s by the end of the week. My, my apologies, 64 is what we technically hit on the calendar for today. Now, what I want to show you with this map, the blue that you're seeing here, those are below average temperatures. Gray, average, and red is now above average. And uh, here's where I think we will go over the next week and a half. Red, 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 red. And that's because of that ridge. Okay, so this would just show you that, all right, we've got temperatures that'll be trending above where they should be for the next week and a half or so, maybe even beyond that. I mean, my hope is to give the kiddos a nice trick or treat Halloween, but you know, with it coming this early in October, hopefully it'll hold. I just don't know if it will. It's pretty strong, and I think it'll hold for, like I said, a week and a half or so. Uh, and then we could maybe see a buckle a little bit as we get closer to Halloween, but it's too early to tell what Halloween forecast will be specifically. But the high pressure ridge will be strong. With that comes a little bit of fog. Okay, we had some this morning, some patchy fog. Could be dense at times as we head into the overnight hours tonight, and that would be with us through the morning commute tomorrow. Also, mostly sunny to partly cloudy as we go into the afternoon and temperatures yet again will climb back up into that low to mid 60 range. So it's looking pretty darn nice. I'll put us at 62 uh, Friday climbing to 63 Saturday is 64. So we don't really see a huge shift in temperatures and we don't really see any shift in weather pattern. OK, so we're going to keep that morning cloud afternoon sun trend staying with us for a while.